Yo tout le monde, c'est Raziel, j'espère que vous allez bien et on se retrouve pour l'épisode 4, partie 2. Donc on va commencer. La dernière fois, ce qui s'était passé, c'est qu'on avait euh, pété la gueule à griffe pour reprendre notre maison. Et euh, Elena, Gen euh, Elena Glenmore nous avait euh, aidé avec euh, quelques hommes à eux, les meilleurs archers euh, de sa famille, pour reprendre un petit peu le contrôle de notre maison. Et on va voir euh, ce que ça va entraîner. Et on était de retour avec Asher, si je me souviens bien. Ouais, avec Asher, on était retourné à, à Marine pour, avoir, pour faire le plan de la reine qui était de reprendre un petit peu. Euh, qui était de reprendre un petit peu, excusez-moi. Euh, de reprendre un petit peu euh, la ville de Marine. Euh, donc elle nous envoyait en mission pour avoir euh, des soldats loués. Donc on va continuer l'épisode 4 et c'est parti, les amis. I swear I will. Fuck you and your queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck What do you What are you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck... I'll talk to her. Good. If she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <sighs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Mister, anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? <gasps> oh, the fuck! Croft doesn't okay, know shit about clean. anything. None of you do! Will you stop trying to hit me? Whatever your problem is with Croft, just let it go. You think this is about Croft? You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? Your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into Marine with you. Just talk to me, Beska. We're done talking. Come on, Asher. Hit me. Oh, if this was a real fight, he'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. So what? You're going to kill me because you don't want to go into some fucking city. I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. <sighs> I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. Oh, putain. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pits to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals for sport, he started... He started sending other children. I butchered every one of them. I... After a while, I thought the fear was gone. I thought I was used to it. You never get used to something like that. But it made you strong, didn't it? You say that like it makes it worth it. There was this boy. We used to play five stones in the alley when we couldn't sleep. When I saw him next, he was in that pit with me.
I saw the fear in his eyes. That same fear I felt my first time. And I realized it hadn't left me. I still wanted to live. I wanted it so badly. My master watched as I did it. Smiling. I could have killed him for that fucking smile. Um... I'm, I'm so sorry, Beska. I don't want your pity. I bought my freedom a long time ago, but I have always hated this place. Hated him. Dezor Zoraza. Because of that man. Marine is a city of dead children. Don't worry about me. I won't let you down. We can't afford to fuck up this mission. You know how important this is. Right. Your family. Iron from fucking ice. J'aurais peut-être dû lui enlever sa boisson. La drogue, c'est même, vous voyez. You shouldn't say that. Why not? Mira, I'll meet you inside. What are you doing here? I have to get in there, Sarah. I know I'm not supposed to attend, but then you know Lady Marjorie doesn't want to see you. What could be so important? Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family. And someone in there is helping him. Lady Marjorie would be furious, Mira. I can't. I'm sorry. I want to help you, but I can't risk it. Oh, come on, Mira. <sighs> Fine. Just stop making that face already. You owe me for this. She's with me. Mm-hmm. We'll stay out of trouble. I promise. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. <clears throat> Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. <laughs> you flatter me. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. I hear you're partial to a particular arbor red. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people Oh, and... Lord Tarwick! What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little lobes. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your eye, Mira? I have to take care of a personal matter. Oh, well. 
Don't let us stop you then. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all Donc, on va espionner un petit peu. That is it. Andros, you're being ridiculous. Ouais, bon, ça, on va rien apprendre dans les espionnants eux deux. Je pense pas que c'est lui, il a pas l'air très très malin. Hein. Hmm. On va espionner euh, le monsieur ici. And why would you ever stop dealing ironwood? Hmm. Is there no longer a demand for it? I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm. And what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. On va espionner la foule. I heard he was killed right here in the garden. Well, wasn't he Lannister? One of their guard, but still. Surely they found who did it. No, they haven't caught him yet. Not for lack of effort, mind you. I hear they've spared no expense. Ah, c'est pas moi. C'est pas moi qui l'ai tué. Hein. Pas du tout. Sarah. Lord Tarwick? Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira's interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. You can tell me. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? What can you tell me about Lord Morgan? He's a handsome fellow, isn't he? He has an odd reputation, though. People say he's dangerous, but I couldn't say why. I didn't know that. Thank you, Lord Tarwick. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Lord Andros? Mira Forrester. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit of doing that. You and Lord Morgren don't seem to be getting along. Something the matter? Lord Morgren? That is none of your concern, Lady Mira. 
You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend Morgren scared me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Mm -hmm. Good so day, Lady Mirror. <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. If I tell you how I did it, what's uh -huh. in it for me? <laughs> Nothing. But I admire the gall. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me, you must want something. I have a message from Lord Andros for you. And what would that be? He said he'd do much worse than drive you out of business. That insufferable! What did he mean by that? It seems Andros has already roped you into this mess. If you must know, I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. All thanks to my partner, bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? He found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him alone. Please excuse me. Y'a pas de souci. Du coup, on va aller voir le, 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 le monsieur blond. Qui a l'air nié et, et maladroit. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister. <coughs> Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you, thank you, but I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly, but I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So... What brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Il faut pas qu'elle me voie. Lady 
Lady Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that <clears throat> story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Just tell me, Lord Tarwick. It's important. I may be willing to tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Oh, can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I need to know her family, her parentage. That is unfortunately the way things are. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. <laughs> Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira? Bon, j'ai menti pour protéger mon ami, mais... Euh... Mais bon. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. <laughs> Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets, so why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords, hundreds of them. What? Wow. He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Oh putain! But Andros is doing it in secret. Oh la la, je les ferai pas pour ça. Or at least. He doesn't want anyone to know. Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... You bl 
bloody traitor. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. Hmm. Oh, on dirait un cochon. Ah, il est tout rouge, hein. C'est bien. Retourne sur ton porché. Et bim bon. <coughs> Retour au-delà du mur. You sure you know where you're going? Potter? Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? If we should keep moving. Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Doesn't matter if we all starve before we even get there. We're on the right track. This way. Si tu le dis. Hey. The free folk. Oh, this, Wide length. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling, Cotter. They might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. Il a raison d'un côté. Come out or I'll kill your friend! Or I'll make him scream first! Listen, I don't want to fight! He's not alone. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave them be, all right? Just... just take me! I think I'll take all of you. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. Oh my god. Bon, fallait s'y attendre quand même. Garrett. Kill them. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Allez, c'est parti, QTE Oh, j'ai failli rater le rond. Il a voulu appuyer sur carré. Embroché. On pike. Je voulais pas faire ça, mais bon. Non Ok. C'est juste pour toi. Putain. Those the last of our supplies. Et merde. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Mon dieu. Pa 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 pa. On va où maintenant? On est, retrouvé, on est retourné à Aaron Russ, mais sauf que ce qu'on a fait à Griff, il va y avoir de très très grosses conséquences, je pense. Mais bon, on devait reprendre le contrôle de notre maison. I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. And I'm... I didn't. I didn't know how to stop myself. If Mother hadn't stepped in, I'd have killed him. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My Lord, there's been a message from High Point. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We'll need the Glenmores at High Point. They'll accompany us. Yes, my lord. Let Arthur Glenmore know at once. I'll start making the preparations. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, we'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. I wish I knew. Still, we can bring only one. We have to leave someone in charge of the keep while we're gone. Duncan's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Royland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Je sais pas si j'ai fait le bon choix, j'aurais préféré peut-être Roland avec moi. I know I can't come to High Point. But I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please. I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. 
Find proof if you can. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Bien joué, Talia. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. I hope you're right, Mother. Marine. Welcome. Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. I know. I won't fail them. You'll make them proud. Good luck, my boy. Viserion. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. And Kirin will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake and the man will remember when we stole that giant war hammer. Get in, do From what that you have woman to do, in lease. and get your people Didn't out she hit you in the face with it? That's all you I need never to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. Yeah, pas de souci. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? If you can't do this, tell me now. The masters will be judged by the people of Marine, not by you. How could I possibly refuse you? You would be wise not to. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. Ok, pas de souci. Sur ce les amis je pense qu'on va se laisser à cet endroit là parce que l'épisode va durer trop trop longtemps et du coup je vous dis à très bientôt pour la suite des épisodes. Allez salut